Good morning everyone. This Lightboard video aims to go through just a quick summary on the terminology that we use when we're describing the origin and the termination of a particular blood vessel. So we know that we have arteries and veins, but we know that the directionality of blood flow is going to be a little bit different depending on both. So we know that arteries are going to flow away from the heart to supply the lower and upper extremity, and we know that veins are going to return the blood back into the circulatory system. So what I have here on our left is going to be a road map of some major roads in North Adelaide. And I want to use this as a reference for how we can remember the types of branches and the convention for describing origin and termination. So firstly, there are three main things that you need to include if I'm asking you about an origin or termination question. So the first thing is going to be what type of branch is it? The second is what is the vessel associated with it? And the third is going to be the location that the transition is going to happen. So firstly, if we consider the types of branches involved with the arterial system, there are three main branches and these are going to be a continuation, a collateral branch and a bifurcation. So the first type of branch, a continuation, if we consider our road map where we're heading from, so you're driving along King William Road, so coming out of Adelaide CBD, we know that King William Road, as soon as we reach North Adelaide, is going to change into O'Connell Street. As soon as we reach Prospect, the same road continues, it changes name into Prospect Road. And then all of a sudden, the end or the termination of Prospect Road is going to be Grand Junction Road. So you don't have a choice. You either have to go left or right on Grand Junction. So what happens when we have a main road simply change name or a vessel in the body continue as the same vessel but change name? We say that this is going to be a continuation. When we have a bifurcation, by definition, it is when you have one segment split or branch into two. So where we have Prospect Road, then terminate into left and right on Grand Junction is going to be a bifurcation. And a collateral branch is where you have a side street or a side turn heading um, into a different direction. So an example of a collateral branch on our drawing is going to be Regency Road, for instance. So as soon as we reach the intersection of Prospect Road and Regency, you have the option to go left or right. Say I want to go grocery shopping at Costco, I know that I have to then turn left down Regency um, as it's simply coming off of Prospect Road to head to the Kilburn suburb. So an example of a collateral branch in the body is going to be the deep femoral artery, which is coming off the main vessel in the leg or the thigh, which is going to be the femoral artery. So the second thing then is what is the vessel that it's going to be associated with? So with arteries, if I'm asking you about the origin, it's always going to be the vessel most proximal to the one of interest. If I'm talking about the termination, it's the one mo more distal um, to the vessel of interest. And then the third, the location is going to be, well, where exactly does it change name um, or where exactly does it course? So with reference to our diagram, we know that as soon as we hit the suburb of North Adelaide, King William is going to change names into O'Connell. As soon as we then hit the suburb of Prospect, O'Connell will change names into Prospect Road. The same happens in the body. If we use the external iliac artery as an example, it is going to reach the level of the inguinal ligament in the pelvis, and then it simply continues as the femoral artery. So our anatomical landmark or location is going to be the inguinal ligament in this example. The same applies then if we're talking about veins, but the main difference is obviously going to be the blood flow. So I want you now to imagine that we're traveling from Grand Junction Road and we're heading back into Adelaide CBD to go to uni. So this is where you're located. 
so whether you're walking or driving, we know that blood flow is going to go from the most distal aspects to the body back or proximally into the heart or the circulatory system. So what happens now with veins is instead of having branches coming off of or splitting from a main vessel, you have them all draining back into a particular vessel, which is going to be the inferior vena cava until it reaches the heart. So what happens is these terms no longer apply when we're talking about veins. Rather, the appropriate terminology is going to be you still have a continuation. So where we have Prospect Road, um, then continue into O'Connell Street, we call this still a continuation, it's just the opposite direction. A confluence by definition is going to be where you have two branches or two vessels merge into one. So in the case of Grand Junction, we have left and right merging into one main road, which is going to be Prospect Road. And then the last one is going to be a tributary. So a tributary is going to be the opposite of a collateral branch. So you have a side road now merging into one. So if you want to merge onto the motorway or the highway, for instance, um, you take the off ramps coming back onto the main motorway. So if we just look at a very quick example in the body, if we're looking at the lower limb as to how we can apply the venous terminology. So if we draw coming back, so up the posterior aspect of the lower limb, we have the posterior tibial vein. This is going to then join with the anterior tibial vein to confluence together into one main vessel, which is going to be the popliteal vein. The level that this transition um, then occurs is going to be at the inferior border of the popliteus muscle. So the popliteal vein then, we know it's going to continue as soon as we reach the level of the adductor hiatus. And it then continues as the femoral vein in the anterior compartment. So you can see we have an example of a confluence, we now have an example of a continuation. And then the last thing, within the femoral triangle, we have a tributary of a deep vein as well as a superficial vein. So with the deep vein, we have the deep femoral, which is going to be a tributary into the femoral vein, so number two at the location of the femoral triangle. We also then, if we go back to pink, have a superficial vein, which is going to be the great saphenous vein, is also going to be a tributary of the femoral vein into the deep femoral vein. So I hope that this gives you a brief summary of the major terminology that I expect you to use when I'm asking you about the origin or termination of a particular blood vessel. I will be assessing you on this in both the theory and the practical exams, so it is important that you are familiar with the correct terminology. Um, and if you have any issues or problems, please make sure you ask me or your demonstrators in next week's practical. If you like this video and would like to check out some more of the Lightboard videos relating to musculoskeletal anatomy, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you enjoy this Lightboard video.